What's up guys? So I was screwing around on Twitter today and Brad Brushwood said he needed a dice simulator. More specifically, he said, does anyone have a robust dice rolling simulator? I need to know 100,000 trials with three D6s, how often a chosen number appears 1x, 2x, or 3x times. And I had some free time and I was like, I'm a programmer. I could probably figure that out real easy. So I made one, I replied and I said, hey, so I made you a dice simulator, put it on my website. His response was, holy shit, this is perfect. And amazing, I quote. So I'm just going to show you guys how I made it. So get ready for a little PHP code tutorial. That transition was so smooth. All right, so the simulator that I made, it lets you put in the number of dice, the number of rolls you wanna do, and your number. Click roll, and it will randomly roll all those dice again and tell you all your results. Put in 100,000, put in a million. Takes a little bit longer because it's running all those computations. Uh, but anyways, that's what we're gonna build today. Uh, the first thing we need to do is, so this is going to be operating off of a form with some posts. So in PHP, we're going to have rolls, dice, and numbers. <clears throat> and if we don't have a value already, we want to set that to something. So like 10. For dice, we're going to use three dice by default. And number, and the number is going to be the number on the dice that we want to roll. By default, we're going to make that six. That means, you know, you can pick one through six on a dice, a six sided dice, anyways. Okay, so next up, we need to write a little form. You know what? You guys might not be able to see this. I'm going to blow it up a bit. Uh, we're going to write a little form. This is not going to be valid HTML, there's not going to be a lot of validation in this. Uh, it's just going to be a really basic concept. The one that I did on my own site is very robust and validated. So if you try and put in a number that's too big, uh, it'll just yell at you. Uh, but we're not going to do that. This is just a concept to kind of teach you a little bit about PHP if you don't already know or if you're interested in programming. Uh, first thing we need is a form to actually write in the values or put in our custom values. Uh, action... Here's our form. We need some inputs, labels, and a button. Name equals dice. Uh, no, no, no. We need rolls. Value equals. And this little thing here is a shorthand PHP. Unless you just echo out a value. Here's our first input. Here's what it looks like so far. Really impressive, right? Pull it up a bit. Uh, we need three more inputs. There are two more inputs. Rolls, dice, and number. So this name here on this form, so it's a post form, so we're using the post variable, uh, the post global variable. Uh, the name is rolls. So this one here, the global post has rolls as a submitted value when you submit this form. And then it puts it in this variable rolls and adds it as the default. These are our defaults 10, 3, and 6, but we want to be able to change those values. Four rolls, I need rolls. That should be it.
So this BR tag here, this little BR, is just a line break. And that's just this is some basic HTML. So if you and uh, I added the ID of roles with the uh, four roles on this label. So if you click on the number of roles, it actually shows up. Uh, it highlights the value of the roles. Because if you don't add that in there, oops. Now if you click on roles, it doesn't do anything. So that's what that four does. Add some other things in here. Uh, your number one through six. There we go. We need a submit button. Cool, now it saves our numbers. And we just need to do some logic now. Here's where it gets fun, and this is actually a really easy little script to write. So we only want to display the results if it's been posted. If post. Alright. Uh, let's create a variable here, an array to hold our values. Uh, create a little for loop. I equals one. I uh, is less than or equal to the number of rolls. And I uh, plus plus. So this is a for loop. You set a variable in the first part uh, as your counter. And then you have a comparison. And then an operator, or uh, what I do is usually an increment. And so we're setting i to 1, and as long as i is less than this number of rolls, we're going to keep incrementing and do it over and over. Hits equals 0. So we're going to store our hits here. Uh, every time it's, it matches, uh, another for loop, a nested for loop, is what we're doing here. For i uh, is... No, no. We're going to use x, new variable name. x is less than or equal to the number of dice. Uh, X plus plus. There we go. Um, now we need to do our random comparison. So if number, the number that you picked, which is up here, this number, the one that you entered, is equals to MT Rand, one through six. So MT Rand is just like a better randomizing function according to PHP documentation. Uh, hits plus plus, right? And then we need to store that as total hits, hits plus plus. All right. So for every roll we do, so we're gonna roll. We want to roll ten times three dice with my number six, right? So the first roll of all three dice, we're gonna search every dice for my number. If my number matches, we're gonna increment this from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 2 to 3. And then we're going to have count the number of hits that we have according to the tweet that uh, was sent out. Where do we have it? Here we are. You're going to have a robust dice rolling simulator. I need to know 100,000 trials with three d6s, so six-sided dice, how often a chosen number appears 1x, 2x, or 3x times. So that's what we're going to store. Hits plus plus. Oops. Total hits plus plus. Um, here we go. Let's see what we got so far. Roll the dice. Uh oh. What do we got? Undefined offset zero. Line 34. Let's just do the air control operator and get rid of it. Zeros every time. What's happening here? Probably. The number, because we have the quality operator here. 
We can either get rid of that. Yep. Or we can typecast the number to always be an integer. I like that better. Cool. So now we need to make it pretty. Uh, these rays are a little bit out of order as well. So let's just sort them real fast. Okay, sort. Total hits. And now it's always in order. Nice. Uh, Alright, so last thing we're going to do here for each total hits as key and result. Echo, your number appeared, appeared on a die. Key times and result rounds. Period. There we go. There's our little program. Super easy. Uh, let's do 100 rolls. Three dice. Let's do five dice. And let's do 100,000 rolls. There we go. That's how you write that program. Super easy. Um, anyone can do it. It's a very simple little program. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. Um, if you guys have any more question, questions about web development specifically, tutorials are super easy and I'm really good at it. So uh, feel free to ask away. Have a great day. And I'm going to teach you how to create... The, the red button on the side. Controller. avoid this type of attack. Here's the thing. Just be careful. 